Soldering can be tricky. You arrive somewhere, you need some work to be done, and the only way to do it is to bring all the tools. At first you think, well, it's easy. I'll just bring my soldering iron. But then you start to think, well, not only do I need my soldering iron, I need an extension cord. I need some way to see the things that I'm soldering better. I need all these tools, pliers, wire strippers, connectors. I need all these things in order to get the job done. So how am I gonna carry it all? And then you end up getting a big duffel bag and you bring all of it and try to lay it all out on a table and you got a big old mess. And it takes forever just to set it up and then it takes forever to tear it all down. And you find that so much time is wasted just in the setup. So welcome, my name's Stevie and today I wanna show you some of the solutions that I've come up with that have helped me to make today's version of what I have as a portable soldering solution. So welcome, my name's Stevie, and today I want to share with you some of the solutions that I've come up with in order to try to make a portable soldering solution. Of course, I'm sure it's going to change throughout the time, but as things change, I want to share that with you. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you go down below, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Here we go. One thing that I found is that over the years, I would try to set up a soldering setup. Maybe I'd get a table and I'd put my soldering iron, I'd bring the tools I need, I'd bring my toolbox, I'd bring all the connectors, and I would have to find an area whenever I had a soldering job to do, set up everything, and it would take me maybe 30 minutes, or well, sometimes less, but it would take me a while to set up and so much time was wasted trying to connect everything, make sure I have extension cords, and you end up having to bring this huge box full of stuff and inevitably forgetting things. So I found a need that I needed some way to have a soldering setup that I could take with me somewhere. I've seen many portable soldering solutions, and I wanna share with you the one that I've constructed recently. So this is what I like to call my portable soldering station. Um, it's a box I found at, at Harbor Freight and I heavily modified it. Let's get started by just opening it up. Um, first thing I want to note is that I set it up to where it needs to open backwards, I guess you could say. Open it on the sides like this. You lift it up. Oh, and on the back, I put these little wooden blocks. So I pop these out. That way when I do lift up the opening, it has something to rest on, so it stands up. Here is my portable soldering station. Now, it doesn't look great, <laughs> I know, but it does get the job done. It is better and more um, efficient than not having it. Here I got a Heiko um, FX888D and um, I've mounted a, a fan in it, going backwards. So you know what, I should just turn it on. The fan's running, the soldering Heiko soldering station is on. I plug in the soldering tip, soldering tip, and it's ready to go. The fan's running, exhausting air. Got the helping hands here, and got a headlamp. Now, one thing I've noticed, I have this light here. My idea, my thought was to make it easier to be able to see what's going on inside the soldering station. But I realized that maybe, I'm, I'm probably gonna be changing this light to, to a gooseneck um, light because the problem is, is that it creates a backlight sometimes. It actually can make things harder to see. So that's one way I'm planning on improving it. Got a headlamp, in case I need to see up close. It is a little uncomfortable to use all the time. That's why I'm planning on swapping this light out for a gooseneck. I've got this clamp um, 
pan of ice clamp and I have 3M locking um, like a Velcro here and here and there. So if I need to lock it in on here, I can just press down like so, locks in place, and then I can maneuver it to hold tips and then I can use the helping hands to hold cables in place. This section over here, I just created a little, using a little bit of cardboard and some wood, I created spots for my uh, tools to, to rest. A lot of times when I'm actually soldering, I'll turn them like this, turn them up so they're quick and easy to grab. Of course, usually when I'm doing it, I'm not sitting on the side, I'm sitting in front, so it's a little more convenient. Um, the soldering gun is hot and ready to use. And then for any other tools that I need, I have this all on a wooden platform thing right here that I just built. Um, I'll show you how that's connected at the end here. But right underneath, I just got a tray from Staples and I have a bunch of tools in it. I have rosin flux, um, a blade, screwdrivers, lighters. I have my uh, solder, rosin core solder, a little sponge I can wet, a wick, wick to pull away hot solder. Um, I guess these are like little dental tools. They're, they're just helpful to kind of get into tight places. Another pair of pliers. And it's great because this little drawer as you can probably see, there's an opening here and the little drawer, I made it just the right size so it can just slide in. It doesn't lock, it just sits there. And I haven't had any problem with, with it falling out because I always carry it with this facing up. So while I can't leave everything literally connected and just open it up and plug it in, it is pretty quick. It's a whole lot quicker than bringing all these individual things along, plugging them in, making sure all my cables and everything's neat. It does save a lot of time. I would say it cuts my time, not just in half, but more than in half in setup. So I put everything back where it needs to be, close it up, and it only closes by these two latches here on the side. Push these down and it's ready to go. Now the way that this drawer this drawer is great because even if it's closed i can still pull out the drawer i just i tried to make a knob there but it didn't work so now it's just a little hole i can reach my finger in there to open and close the drawer um what let me take the drawer out and i'll show you that that tray what's holding it there is that it's got little pieces of wood and they're just screwed in right here these screws are holding it in that's what's holding in this platform right here, like so. Okay. So if you guys like this build that I did, I like it a lot. Give me a thumbs up down below. If you didn't like it, tell me in the comments why. Tell me what I could have done better. Well, thank you for spending some time with me today. I'm Stevie. I hope this was beneficial to you. And until next time, God bless you good people.